It very nearly displaced Victoria as the BC capital. New Westminster was central to the BC gold rush and it was largely constructed by a special force. They were a group of educated, skilled soldiers whose priority was building a community rather than keeping the peace. Stacey Ross now with the latest edition of This Week in History. It was the height of the gold rush. 30,000 miners were swarming the Fraser River. Governor James Douglas asked for military assistance. What he got was a hand-selected detachment of Royal Engineers. They were soldiers, well armed. These are Snyder Enfield rifles. It's massive. It's a big, heavy gun. But military support was secondary to the civil support they offered. They built and staffed government offices. They provided printing services, built churches. Also the critical uh, sections of road through the Fraser Canyon. The impassable parts were made passable by the Royal Engineers. There were 165 Royal Engineers in all. Most, along with many wives and children, spent six months at sea to get here. A voyage chronicled in a regular onboard newspaper. They included poetry, uh, what they called charades, where you had to figure out they were like riddles. This Columbia detachment was led by Colonel Richard Clement Moody. A powerful personality in terms of his leadership and his role in the history of British Columbia. His dress uniform, a museum treasure. The pride of the collection is this jacket over here, which actually comes from Colonel Moody's family. And speaking of treasures... We're looking at the rarest coins to ever come out of British Columbia and some of the rarest coins in the world. There are uh, less than 10 of one of these coins in the world. There was lots of gold, but there weren't a lot of coins around. Uh, one of the contributions of the Royal Engineers was to build a building for a mint. But production was short-lived. They also found out that there's more than $20 worth of gold in a gold coin. Like the coin, eventually the force's contribution was not believed to be worth the expense and after five years the detachment was disbanded. But most decided not to leave. Some married here and some took up land. They were offered free grants of land. Others became butchers, bakers, uh, printers, architects. Called the brains and the brawn of the British Army, the contributions of the Royal Engineers will be included in the Gold Rush exhibit set to open at the Royal BC Museum in May 2015. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia stories together.